hey guys welcome back to my channel if you would like to see how i installed this wig please continue watching and don't forget to subscribe as you can see by the caption i did purchase this wig from Ossily hair with my own money this is no promo and i love this wig i love this vendor because they have hd lace and as you can see the hd lace is lacing this wig is big head friendly. I did not have to cut the front so a little bit on the sides like I usually have to do. And yeah, it's so cute. I plucked it as well. I plucked it off camera. Today I'm going in with my gummy lace glue from I'm a Slayer Bay on Instagram. Yeah, I love this glue as well. I started off using this glue and then I went to Erica J. Both of the glues both work the same, so, you know, they get the job done and my lace be laid. I did three layers of glue because I want this wig to last more than two weeks. Right here, I had to map out my hairline in the front. It was just too far above my actual hairline, so I had to cut some hair off. And I cut the rest of the lace off camera because when you have HD lace, it be hard to look in this camera and see where you couldn't it. Now I'm going in and fixing the lace that didn't lay down with more glue. I usually go ahead and lay it down when it's still white because that white going to go away anyway, so. Going back in with my ruby kisses around the hairline. I always use a shade darker than you to get rid of the white cast. Now spraying spritz on my fingers to put on my hairline before I tie it down. If you want your hair to be silky, use this Bio Silk Serum. This is my go-to. Especially when I'm about to blow dry my hair, it just makes the hair much better. Look at that lace and I'm not even done.
mid parts are my go-to but for the new year i wanted a side part And I'm going in with my Edge Booster Wax Stick to blend in my hair. Yeah, I just started using this wax stick and it gets the job done. So, I love it. And it lasts long. This hot comb get the job done too. And I got it from Walmart. Yeah. After I got my hair flat, I went ahead and started picking out my baby hairs. I always do like four baby hairs at the most. Going in with the Tresemme holding spray to spray my hair. Then I'm gonna go behind it with the spritz again. Look at that milk, Mike. It's so pretty. I like to high comb my baby hairs before I cut them and curl them for, you know, a more seamless look. Using my razor comb to cut the baby hairs. I use scissors too, but today I just feel like using a razor comb, so... Using my mini flat iron to curl my baby hairs. Going in with my Nairobi foam to lay my baby hairs down.
getting the baby hairs to your liking takes time. So, so take as much time as you need to get your baby hairs to your liking. As you can see, I'm using my finger to guide the comb to get the swoop that I want. I like to tie the baby hairs down with the black strips instead of the elastic band hand so that they won't come up. I'm going to put a few little layers in the front of my hair to make my curls pop. I don't know how to curl with a curling iron yet, but that is my New Year's resolution to learn how to curl with a curling iron. So I'm going in with my one that I got from Sally's. It's the bed head brand. And yeah. I had to put this in slow motion, baby, because look at that lace. Look at that lace, y'all. going in with my spritz because I want the top of my hair to stay and not move. Baby, mow down.
going in with my concealer in the shade fun to straighten out my part. And this is the finished look. Now I'm going to have my little photo shoot poses because I didn't do a proper outro. But I want to thank y'all for watching my YouTube video. And I would like to remind y'all to don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This is my first video of the new year and I appreciate all the support that I had last year. This year will be much better and bigger. Bye, y'all.